This is a massive deal for Intel. Why do this deal now? Well, hey, Corey, you know, if you take a look at the strategy, we think uh, combining Intel and Mobileye allows us to have a singular platform end-to-end -end for our customers. But more importantly, if you take a look at where uh, autonomous driving is going, you're, you know, the OEMs, the, the car manufacturers, are today working on 2021 models. So you have to make a deal, you have to build your platform today in order to be there in 2021 when the models are really going to start hitting the road. What, is Intel, what has Intel's approach been to uh, semiconductors within the car, and how might that change with Mobileye? Well, you know, we're already in a large number of the autonomous vehicles that are out there today. But what this does is really brings the best of uh, both ends of the computing spectrum for, for driving uh, together. So think about it this way. The car will have two brains. One is a vision brain that's going to take a sensor fusion, the LiDAR, the radar, the, the, the cameras, and combine that and build a view of the world. And then there's another brain that Intel currently plays in, uh, which is going to then take that information and basically drive the car. And this puts those two brains together into one company and allows us to provide an end-to-end -end platform for our partners. Do you expect uh, Intel's other businesses to benefit from this autonomous car world? You talked in an uh, email to your employees about data, 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 and how important this was in the world of data. You bet. So, you know, the, the, there's going to be uh, several flows of data in and out of the car. And the first is, is simply the, the car seeing the world and, and adapting how it drives. And so that's what we call learning data. And, and there will be a data center that's built by the car OEMs that's going to be driving that and developing their algorithms. There's another set of data that will come out of the car that's the mapping data. And you saw our investment in here earlier this year that is really augmented towards uh, building these precision maps, maps that have a lot more information than the maps of today that you use. And then the third set is that these cars are going to be able to see the world as they drive around. And so there's going to be just visual data that's going to be gathered on you know, people on the streets and, and cars that it's passing. And all that visual information is going to be gathered and used to build uh, you know, information models of what's going on. I'm curious about the timing of this deal, not just because of the, as you talk about the lead time that automobiles uh, re require, but for Intel at this stage in its growth and also where we are in sort of a global macro sense of technological uh, change and spending. Um, do you feel like you had to get rid of, uh, ahead of competitors who might have looked at Mobileye as a potential uh, target? You bet. So we, we, we knew that this was a hot space that, uh, you know, gathering up these technologies and, and really building this end-to-end -end platform was important. Uh, and, and, and then also, you know, th this deal, although large, is, is immediately accretive to our earnings per share. Uh, and our free cash flow for the company. So it was a good deal from that perspective as well for Intel. Uh, but it was really expensive. I mean, you paid $15 billion of what 14.7 enterprise value for a company with about 350 million in, in trailing revenues. Uh, that's, a, that's a hefty price tag. Sure, it's a, you know, the market had already priced in a pretty good premium. So if you take a look compared to the, the price, it's about a 35% premium to its current uh, market value. Uh, but yes, what you have to take a look at is it's growing at uh, a, a very significant rate, and we think it'll be a billion dollar plus business. But remember, for us, it's much further than that. So there's, we're looking beyond just the revenue that Mobileye is going to grow into, which is, is significant and will be a billion dollars plus. But it, we're allowed to tie this now, this visual data, into our data centers. Uh, into our whole uh, artificial intelligence engine uh, business that we're growing. And so this really actually completes this circle of, of uh, capability that we think of when we, when we look at how data is going to be used across the world.